Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for October 27, 2013. Uh, got a good bit of stuff uh, this week to show you. Um, even though it's fall of the year and the uh, yard sales are kind of uh, slim, uh, I still found some halfway decent stuff. Um, nothing too over the top, but uh, all some pretty good finds and uh, should make money on uh, most of it, if not all of it. Uh, so let me show you what I got. Uh, first up here, you got four boxes of uh, hardware, drawer pulls, stuff like that. Um, some nice old stuff in here, you got to go through and uh, sort it out. Nice lion head pull there. Uh, ducks, duck stuff is doing good, Duck Dynasty uh, on uh, TV. Um, these are pretty good. Paid thirty dollars for uh, for the four boxes. Take a look at that. That is a neat, like nineteen uh, sixties, uh, very unusual uh, drawer pulls. There, I probably put like thirty bucks on these on that lot of three right there. Um, pretty neat little starburst. Uh, so once everything's said and done. Uh, should make a pretty good profit off of this. Just uh, have to go through and get it sorted, clean it a little bit, um, and then uh, go from there. A good looking piece of, uh, I don't know if you call that Vaseline glass, of, uh, um, kind of looks like it. Uh, that was six. Might be Fenton. Piece of agate glass, agate ware, little uh, trinket box in good shape. That was five bucks. A uh, Shakespeare reel, old reel, uh, clean it up. That was five bucks. Uh, probably a uh, $25, $30 dollar reel there. Uh, old teapot, pretty neat. Got the uh, boy riding a camel. Uh, got a maker's mark on the bottom here. Something castle. Uh, made in Japan. So nothing too great, but uh, unique looking. A uh, Snoopy uh, juice canister uh, for a refrigerator. Three bucks. Uh, should be popular with the uh, peanuts collectors. These three pieces here are all uh, Occupy Japan. Unusual to see a, a really large piece of Occupy Japan. And it's nice to have the uh, pair of lamps uh, all in good shape. Uh, that was five for her and uh, six for the pair of lamps. Coca-Cola radio still in the uh, styrofoam, which it's still out of the box. Uh, five bucks for that and should get... Uh, probably about 25 took a chance on this paid six bucks for it I don't know um, like a hotline telephone or hotel telephone um, you don't see them too much anymore uh, these paid 15 for and took a chance on them uh, all different kind of little brass things and they're all detachable to the leather nice high quality leather pieces I don't know what they're to I see some horses here there's a beagle I think it's horse related um, but not sure gotta look into that a uh, little fold out camera still has the uh, original box the camera looks like it was never used um, that was six on that uh, heavy uh, glass Czechoslovakian it's even marked on the bottom here where is it there it is made in Czechoslovakia uh, heavy glass uh, perfume sprayer probably from the 20s or 30s uh, that was 7 um, should do well with that Schlitz beer uh, tap 
there's uh, pop uh, that was uh, five two dollars on the uh, pop figurine haven't looked them up yet a uh, piano baby bank uh, that was two dollars a couple of matchbox cars they were uh, four dollars a piece still in the original box uh, Zippo lighter uh, check out last week's haul video I've got a uh, I show a, a Marlboro zipper lighter. Turns out that thing was pretty rare. Um, going for around 200. Matter of fact, that's what I uh, put in my store for. Um, so that was a pretty good deal there. I got this lighter. That's a this one's a new one. Um, and I got a can of uh, lighter fluid. Uh, that was five bucks for the uh, lighter and a can of fluid. This is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, that's a, actually a painting so, uh, really really well done and uh, if you gotta look really close to see the brush strokes um, but whoever did this uh, was talented and I got a signature down in the bottom here and of course it would be the spot right where a scratch is um, anybody has any idea what that signature is let me know from 1957 looks like BL some S E E bliss blissy not sure but uh, I really like uh, I'm not going to sell it till I uh, can try to identify who the artist is uh, that's the worst part of buying artwork that you can't identify uh, a couple Colts hats. I think these are newer, not older. Uh, they were uh, two bucks a piece. Uh, these are pretty neat. M&Ms uh, with the uh, presidential seal on it. It's still in there. Um, prices on these on eBay are all over the place, ranging from a few dollars on up to twenty-five dollars. I'm gonna put twenty bucks a piece on them, and. Uh, Let's see what happens. A little Bathing Beauty uh, ashtray, five bucks. Unmarked, but uh, should sell well. A uh, Sterling candlestick holder just by itself, that was seven bucks. Hard to see it, but it's there. Uh, forget how much uh, silver is there. Take out the weight. Um, it's probably about an ounce in there. Uh, like the brass uh, salt and pepper shakers, uh, when I found these things, they were almost black uh, from being uh, tarnished and dirty. Uh, really well done. I like the solid copper. If you see my videos, you know I'm a fan of copper. And uh, they're marked uh, solid copper made in Korea. And they were... Uh, three dollars for a pair uh, really heavy duty uh, glass mug marked Richardson root beer never heard of Richardson uh, half look it up that was four bucks uh, mini badges uh, Suffolk County Police uh, County of Suffolk Police and a uh, 9-11 New York badge um, I paid 12 bucks for the three of those and they threw the key in the uh, for free uh, probably just keep that for myself uh, next time I find a clock it needs a key I'll have one uh, this was a pretty good deal five bucks and this is a, a set a saw set uh, for the old hand saws, you have to, in order for them to cut uh, good, you have to set the, the teeth off uh, on them, and this does it. Uh, paid five bucks for this, and I think I could probably get about uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 for that. It's a quality piece. Heavy duty chef knife. I'll put it on a uh, brass wheel, knock that uh, rust off of the blade, clean it up a little bit, but uh, 
I sell just about every uh, old uh, chef knife I come across. This one is marked KG Steel Bach Company, Germany. So good steel. Um, got these four knives here, uh, fixed blade knives. I had to pay six bucks a piece. The guy wanted six bucks a piece and he wouldn't take any less. But this one alone makes it worthwhile. It's a case. And uh, somebody just had to take a grinder to, to the tip of it and mess it up. Uh, it's too bad. Still should bring some pretty good money. Uh, the two middle ones there are Edge brand, uh, Germany. And uh, the one on the end is a uh, Schrade. So good names. And it's nice that the case has the original uh, sheath to it. I uh, got a uh, Schrade old timer, five bucks, nice folding knife. And uh, the uh, belt buckles here, got eight of them. Uh, guy was asking four bucks a piece, and I got all eight of these for 30. But I'm going to put them in my store. Uh, right around $20 a piece or we're best offer. Uh, I got Christmas coming up and I think they should sell. Uh, neat strategic air command there, air cav, and uh, many of them are dated from the uh, early 80s. Uh, here's the 82. Got a few 82s, 83 in there. Um, like selling belt buckles. They, uh, they're easy to pack. They don't take up a lot of room. They bring halfway decent money. Uh, when you go to mail them, just uh, put them in a padded envelope and uh, mail them off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end part one right here. Uh, we're past 12 minutes already. Um, then we'll start part two up on the back bench there.